He obviously joined in with Novak Djokovic. That's what we're all talking about. It's, uh, I don't think it was a bit of a surprise for me. Was it, was it something you considered for a long time or was it a bit of a surprise for you and Novak? As yeah, well? it's a surprise for, surprise for me. I, I can't honestly say if um, it was a surprise for Novak or not because the truth is he had been thinking about it, I think, for a little while, uh, you know, and trying to find interesting new solutions to, to different, different times in his life. Um, but I tend to follow my instincts in life, follow my heart and allow it to explore. And I have a real healthy balance going on right now. So if I can sort of do this on my time, uh, if you will, uh, but learn him enough to know what the right time is, because uh, that's important. What does he really need? So, uh, yeah, I was a bit surprised at all kind of unfolded the way it did and then I hope to be of help he's a he's a good man well I heard that Steffi gave you a bit of a, a push in the right in the direction of say hey go have a go <laughs> I did have I did say no a couple of times like it's just it just at first it's just no this isn't achievable you know I mean how do you yeah. how do you and then she was like gosh I just I hear you talking to him I hear you talking about him I see you're in I mean why don't you go spend a little time and get to know him and see what so either either she wants me out of the house, or she really, or she really does care cares and knows me, you know. And uh, and and so I did. I came here. Uh, I've spent time with him, needless to say. Um, and I'm glad that I made that choice. I will continue to help him in the way that he needs. And and there's a lot to figure out on what that means. Now, Andre, I heard maybe you're not getting getting a check from Novak. <laughs> Could you work with me well, like that? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, for me, I'm I'm I'm, ins I'm inspired uh, because of inspiration itself. You know, mm -hmm. so I I'm at a, a very blessed time in my life. I don't I don't really need anything now. That's not to speak to Novak. He is um, incredibly um, generous uh, soul, but I, I don't I don't need our relationship. It's not something you're worried about. It's not something I'm worried yeah. about. Not something I'm interested in. Um, I'm interested in, in helping them on, on terms that work for both of us and uh, we're both figuring out what that is. Look, I know it's only a beginning of a relationship here, but uh, you know, what, what is the, the obvious things that you've, been br you've brought in to relationship, uh, even in just this short time? Well, uh, you know, there's a fine line between um, um, coming in at this time and, 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 and getting your fingerprints all over something. I mean, under, yeah. understanding him has been my top priority, understanding how he processes, understanding how he sees his own game. I mean, I, uh, one of the first things I ask him is, what do you think, what do you think makes you so good? I want to know how you see yourself. I want to know how you see certain other players. I want to see how you process and how you think. I want to know how you feel. I want to, you know, all these things you have to learn, right? So for me, just sort of broad brushed, I would say it's kind of pretty basic, but pretty complicated leading somebody in the sense of you got inspiration, you got information, and you got application. And how do you find ways to have your, your touch on all those things? Because, you know, you, as you well know, Pat, on the tennis court, there's so many things that are come to light and there's not a lot of margin out there you know when you're living on a razor's edge against the best in the world and you, you gotta you gotta have that right balance I, I think he still has a lot ahead of him. Novak versus Rafa with a bit of luck they'll be playing uh, how do you get past this guy? You believe statistics you couldn't you you you, you have to acknowledge that I mean he's um, he's I, I don't know what's harder to beat him here based on his record or to climb Everest without <laughs> without Sherpas or oxygen, right? So it is a Herculean test. However, he's done it. if there's somebody that can do it, and he's done it. I kind of think I know who it is, right? I mean, can it, can things come together at the right time in a matter of, I'm, I'm not going to hold anything past uh, Novak and the inspiration I've seen uh, and his processing that I've witnessed. Uh, he should feel very excited. Uh, heading uh, heading into that opportunity if it happens. I want to see this guy get better every day. That's what I want to see. And and uh, I believe he doesn't have to learn things twice. Uh, that's what I seem to be very convinced of. 